Hello students, in this video I will explain what is business, definitions of business, characteristic features of business. This video is more helpful for CEC, MEC, CBSE, ICSC, BCom, BBA, CSCS and CMA students. This syllabus is available for all the courses. What is business? Business is refers to as any economic activity. It may be a trading, it may be production of goods and services, it may be manufacturing of goods, it may be processing industry, it may be providing service services even. All these activities, economic activities, if it is done with an intention or objective of earning profits, then it is called as business. I hope I made you understand the crux of the business. Business refers to any economic activity done with an intention or objective of earning profit is called as business. When you come to the definitions of business, according to Stephens, economic activities performed for earning profits are termed as business. Again the same thing, economic activity done with an intention of earning profits. According to Peterson, business may be defined as an activity in which different persons exchange something of value, whether goods or services, for mutual gain or profit. So, according to these definitions, even the business is refers to activities. It may be manufacturing, processing, exchange of goods and services, whatever it may be done with an objective of earning profits is called as business clear then we will further proceed and understand nature of business what do you mean by nature of business when you talk about the nature of business nature of business is refers to what business does whatever it may be business is doing that is refers to as its nature a trader will do trading business that is buying and selling of goods and services. So buying and selling of goods and services is the basic nature of business. A software company will make software for the business organization. In the sense making software solutions is the primary nature of the business. A manufacturing concern will produce goods and services. So that is the nature of business. So, nature of business is solely depends on what the business activities, whatever business done, it is based on that, the nature. Hence, nature of business depends on the type of business activities done by the business organization. So, I hope you understood what is nature of business here. Right? So, we will further understand characteristics or features. Of business this is the most important topic as far as the exams are concerned when you come to the features the first one is economic activity economic activity is refers to quite clear it involves money and undertaken with a purpose to optimal utilization of resources whatever resources we have it should be utilized optimally then only it is called as business and that is called as economic activity then next profit motive. Profit motive is quite essential. A desire to earn profit is significant in any business. If there is no profit motive, we cannot call it as a business. Then it will become a social activity or social service kind of thing. Then exchange of goods and services. What do you mean by exchange of goods and services here? Business involves exchange of goods and services for money or money's worth in the sense you must exchange these goods and services for money or money's worth. Gifts given by one person to another person do not constitute a business. Please bear in mind, something which is given for free of cost, some services rendered for free of cost, some services rendered for gaining the pleasure of Almighty, those are not called as business. In order to become business, exchange of goods and services should take place for money. Right? Our money is worth, we can say. Then continuity of the operation. This is very significant. A business requires to continue its operations regularly. Then only the business will gain and earn the profit, gain the trust of the customers. Right? 
this is very significant one next risk taking risk is the most essential part of the business every business involves some element of uncertainty that uncertainty is called as risk if you take risk then only you will be rewarded so every business every businessman or entrepreneur will take the risk next entrepreneurship or entrepreneur the person who identifies the need of the society will start the business see business starting in the sense what we must identify what is the need of the consumers what is the requirement of the customers is present goods and services are fulfilling those needs and requirement if not you must come up with a new idea to fulfill those requirements so entrepreneur always identify the needs and requirements of the society people right then only he will come up with the new idea of doing business clear then organized activity business needs to be properly organized and to be successful in the sense you must properly organize to be successful business there is a need for clear definition of role and responsibilities and coordination among the various people working in the organization you must clearly identify you must clearly define the responsibilities and roles of the people employees who are working in the organization besides there is, should be a high degree of coordination cooperation among the people who are working in the organization then only your business will succeed next value to customers customer is a quite significant person important person if there is no customer no business right so business arises out of an opportunity to cater to an unmet demand of the society the same thing again unmet demand of the society should must be understood should must be identified then you must cater that need and you will be given an opportunity you must have an opportunity to do that then only it is called as value to customer right if already existing product is there again you are producing the same product without any uh, needs and demand then that will not fetch the uh, business to earn profits so you must cater the needs of the customers it is an art as well as science business is both it is an art as well as science business conducted in a specific manner by following certain principles rules and regulations at the same time ability of a person to understand business situation taking intelligent decisions and exp experience different differ from one person to another person in the sense what basic principle will be followed that is the nature of science besides it is art as various people will take up the responsibility of the person and the performance of the per, uh, performance of the business is based on the intelligence experience and caliber of those people who take the decisions in the business so that's the reason why we term it as both art as well as science social objective this is very significant nowadays business cannot exist solely to earn profit profit earning business is not the what we call complete objective it is one of the most significant objectives but it is not the sole objective it is a part of society and must not ignore the social responsibility so social responsibility is quite significant for every business every business should suppose to take up the social responsibility there are many types of social responsibilities i will make a video on social responsibility of the business separately will provide the link in the i button as well as in the description box here now nowadays corporate social responsibility is is a regulatory requirement so government even emphasizing that corporate social responsibility should must be taken care by the organization clear so with the help of this we have covered all the objectives of the business i hope i made you understand i wish you all the best thanks for watching the video please do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative informative videos thank you very much